The high warm sun shone down on Clooney the Scourge. Clooney was coming. He was a big and tough and evil rat with ragged fur, curved jagged teeth. He wore a black eye patch. His eye had been torn out with a battle on a pike. Clooney had lost his eye. The pike had lost its life. Some say that Clooney was a Portuguese rat. Others say he came from the jungles far across the wide oceans. Nobody knew for sure. Clooney was a bilge rat, the biggest, most savage rodent that ever jumped from ship to shore. He was black with gray and pink scars all over his sleek, huge body. From the tip of his wet nose up past his green and yellow slitted eye, across both his mean tattered ears, down the length of his heavily vermin-ridden back to an enormous whip-like tail which had earned him his title, Clooney the Scourge. Now he rode on the back of a hay wagon with his 500 followers, a mighty army of rats, sewer rats, tavern rats, water rats, and dockside rats. Clooney's army, fearing yet following him, Red Tooth, his second in command, carried a long pole. This was Clooney's personal standard. The skull of a ferret was fixed at its stop, top. Clooney had kill, killed the ferret, and f he feared no living thing. Wild-eyed with terror, of rat smell in its nostrils, the horse plunged ahead without any driver. When the hay cart was taking him was the little concern to Clooney. Straight on the panicked horse galloped past a milestone lodged in the earth at the roadside, heedless of the letters gra graven in the stone. Redwall Abbey, 15 miles. Clooney spat over the edge of the cart at two young rabbits playing in the field. Tasty little things. A a pity the cart hadn't stopped yet, he thought. The high warm sun shone down on Clooney the scourge. Clooney was a god of war. Clooney was coming nearer.